Hello everyone, welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about the belt system. If you go into your shop, belt systems are way down here in the bottom right, and basically you can use conveyor belts now to take things off the ground, um, anything you want. You can see all of them listed here, and put them wherever you want them. So you can move a pile, you can put them into a tipper to haul them somewhere else. Uh, it's kind of whatever your imagination comes up with. Today we will look at every piece here. I'll show you a super simple system with just this one and this one. And then later on I'll show you a more elaborate system over at the biogas plant using all three pieces here. This one right here, this uh, RH2460, isn't actually a conveyor belt. It turns beets and sugar be or sh beets and potatoes into pallets. But since you need conveyor belts to get them in there and it's in this section, I might as well show it. So let's look at the very basics uh, of creating a conveyor belt system. So take your conveyor belt. Uh, again, this one will actually pick it up off the ground. So this is your first piece. Get it close to where you want it to be. Uh, I'm going to be doing potatoes right now. And then you have to actually enter the conveyor belt. So you'll hit E and you'll actually drive this around and if you get your tool tips up you can see um, some tool, some uh, keys up there to use with this. So I unfolded the belt, or I folded the belt and now you just sort of drive this close to your pile and it will automatically start picking up whatever's there. So I'm going to drive it about right there. It will stop automatically uh, so don't worry. You can force it to unload so I can hit uh, control I and just make a little pile there, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now that's set up. I think about right there is where I want it. Now all I have to do is drive this guy. This is the one that makes pallets of potatoes and beets. If I just drive it underneath the belt, it will automatically start unloading. Uh, I'm. Oh gosh, I got a bad angle here. I should be able to get it to work. Just get this truck out of the way. Okay, so if that happens, just get back in this. And there we go. So it's it, it's kind of going through it, but that's okay. Uh, but you can see it filling up. This potato beet pallet maker, super duper beet maker, um, hold 16,000 potatoes. Each pallet is going to do 2,000 potatoes. So basically I'll just drive this over here uh, and if I hit, uh, let's see, I, I, yeah, I, enable pallet creation, you hit I and it's just going to drop a little box and start filling up the pallet. And when it gets to 2,000 it will stop and you just drive forward and it'll keep creating them. So. That's really the basics. Um, the most important thing is that you have to actually enter these conveyor belts and drive them around. This one is super simple. All it does is get it from the ground. Uh, so if that's enough for you, uh, you, go go have fun, go play with them. But if you want to see a kind of more elaborate system, I'm going to be using all three pieces. I don't actually think I'll be needing two of these joint pieces, but I have two here just in case. So my biggest piece of advice is, oh yeah, I don't even need this tractor now because I have it where I want it, so I'm going to get this guy out of the way, is to start at the end of your system, not at the beginning. So the end of my system needs to be in the little silage bin selling area right there. So I'm going to drive this one. This is, uh, this is the one that you can raise and lower. This will really help get... Uh, piles into tippers and trailers, things of height. Uh, the nice thing about this is that you can extend it and make it super, super, super long. So I'm going to extend this out all the way, which is, wow, that's, yeah, about like that. I'll lower it, and I can't even see the back, but it should be, yeah. And so now we can see that the silage will dump right in to there. Let's go ahead and open this. Now I'm going to use one of these middle pieces because you can create angles. 
So it's important to note that this is where it will receive from a conveyor belt and it'll dump it over here. So we need to make sure this is going to be underneath the, the blue one right there. So we'll slowly drive this over. Uh, while we're driving, I can adjust. We want this to be up because we need to make sure it's over um, that. So I'm going to drive it here, back it up. They're not the easiest things to drive. This one always gives me a lot of problems for some reason, but um, there. Now, as long as that's over that, that should work. Uh, the nice thing about this one is that it angles out. So I can move the angle to where I want it. And then I can extend it. And there's just a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of variety here and really helps situate your final piece uh, or what will actually be your first piece, which is this one. So let's drive this over. Oh, we need to lift that, then I can turn. I probably should have gotten this a little closer, but we'll get there. Now all I have to do is get this over top that end piece and we will have a nice silage conveyor belt system to automate the selling of silage. So I'll get here, I'll back up a little bit. Um, I might actually be too close. So what I can do is leave this here and then get, nope, nope, get in this one and then I can angle it a little better like that, extend it out and it should start working right, well, right there. Now we can watch, it's going to go up here, conveyor belt up and then it will dump and it'll just keep dumping out there. And there you go. The money will just keep on going. Now eventually this pile will run out so you can either move this back and readjust or that's when you can get your leveler tool and just keep pushing um, silage forward but this is still way faster and way easier than using a bucket and doing constant trips so that's how you can get a lot of money quickly from silage and uh, digestate will continue to make so hopefully that clarifies helps you out with the belt system maybe shows how it can be used if you have any questions about them, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Um, yeah, leave a like, dislike, subscribe if you want to, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.